hey guys um so it's Ashley here and if you haven't been following me I'm currently on a journey to lose 70 pounds and I finished week four lost 15 pounds in total going from 212.4 pounds to 197.3 pounds which is really awesome and I just wanted to come back and let you guys know how I was able to do that how I started my journey and maybe these are some things that um, can help you on your journey as well. Don't wait. If you want to lose weight, start today. And there's things that you can do today that you can um, change your life. All right? So here they are. I definitely want to say ease into the weight loss process. Pick one or two things that you can change immediately that you want to focus on for that month, that week, just whatever it is. For me, it was intermittent fasting. I took the first month to focus on just that. The first week, I focused on just sticking with my eating window of 12.30 to 8.30. I didn't go crazy. I'm not sitting there working out every single day. I don't put um, goals on myself that I know that I'm going to easily burn myself out or get discouraged if I don't make it. So focus on one or two things. For me, like I said, intermittent fasting and also cutting out all drinks that have calories in it, all sugary drinks. So drinking more water. I keep a, a water bottle at work, 32 ounces. I force myself to drink at least two of those at minimum per day. Right now I'm actually up to, to about three bottles. But definitely drink more water. I noticed that when you don't drink water, your weight loss isn't as good. So definitely do that. Those are the first two things that I focused on. But in order to lose weight, also you're going to have to start counting calories. And I would suggest weighing your food. Because if you're not weighing your food, sometimes with guessing what you're eating is not enough. If you're scooping out things with tablespoons or, um, you know, with the, the measuring cups, sometimes they're not as accurate either. So I actually take, um, you know, the ingredients. It says uh, 18 grams on here. And I'll weigh 18 grams. So I know that is exactly 100 calories that I'm eating. There's nothing, um, you know, crazy going on. Another thing, I am notorious for binge eating. That has been my problem, binge eating and snack foods. <laughs> so for me, I wanted to change what I was eating, but I didn't want to do it so drastically that I hated dieting, dieting. It's supposed to be a lifestyle change. So I still eat my regular food. But slowly, I've been changing um, what I eat so that I can actually eat more or just um, enjoy myself. So, for instance, I started cutting out pasta and I replaced it with spaghetti squash. I had never had spaghetti squash before um, trying to lose weight this time. And I absolutely loved it. Um, eating more fruit instead of eating processed sugar. Uh changing um, the way I'm snacking I started eating popcorn this is skinny pop and it's a hundred calories I eat this almost every day I love snacking so much that these are the first things that I start logging into my fitness pal before I even um, start adding in my lunch and dinner because a lot of my calories come from just snacking pick things that you can can change and look out for things that uh, you might be binging on or enjoy eating and look for it in low calorie. So for me, I like to have sweets sometimes at night and I found this ice cream and it's 35 calories per serving and the whole thing is 150 calories. So if I decide to go on some kind of crazy, um, you know, sad day, I just want to eat ice cream and eat my feelings. If I have this in the house instead of, you know, haagen which is amazing. I miss Haagen-Dazs. But <laughs> um, 
if you have this in the house, you're not going to completely ruin your diet um, for one night. So look for things like this. Make sure you're tracking everything that you're eating. Not only weigh it, but track it. Write it down, get my fitness pal, do something <laughs> so that you know exactly what you're eating. The first week, kind of get an idea of the calorie intake that you're doing and then focus on um, what kind of calorie deficit that you want to partake in. Right now I'm doing 1,200 to 1,300 calories. Sometimes I dip a little bit below that. Sometimes I go a little bit above that. But just having a goal um, within your calories that is going to help you to lose weight um, is going to be more effective. And you should be able to lose weight without exercising. And that's another thing. With exercising, ease into it. Don't go gung-ho and say, I'm going to start exercising five, six days a week. I mean, it works for some people, but in my case, that's the reason why I burn out and I give up. Because I'll go really hard for like a good week or two, but then I'm burned out. I don't want to do it anymore. And then I have another month or two where I'm not doing anything. So right now, I started doing two, three times a week at the most. In working out some days I'll do a thousand calories of burn some days I'll be three to five hundred calories for burn but I'm not killing myself to um, lose all these calories in just working out that was not my primary fo focus in the beginning and it's gonna increase later on and I know I'm gonna start doing more but don't kill yourself ease into everything. Make it a lifestyle change that you can live with and don't get discouraged when you don't meet your own expectations. Pick it up and do it over again. Every day is a new day. Every second is a new second. Don't dwell in it. And it's not easy for me to say that because I know how it is, but <laughs> don't dwell in it. Don't beat yourself up. All right, do it now. Change one thing now that you can just say, all right, I'm not gonna do it. Don't change your whole eating um, habit. Don't, um, you know, don't overdo it. Focus. This is a mental thing. Weight loss is so much more mental than it is physical. And if you can get that mental part down, then you're golden. It gets easier to say no to things that weren't good for you once you learn to do it. Okay? Don't go crazy. And just know all of this is coming from someone that took seven years to get to this point. I know I'm ready right now. I know that I'm going to get to my goal of 70 pounds. I know it's not easy starting. So if you can find a support system, if you want me to be your support system, please like message me, do whatever. The support from you guys has been so motivating for me. So it's kept me focused. It's actually kind of fed into the willpower that I have to succeed, which is amazing. And I'm thankful. So if you want to be a part of this journey with me, losing weight just to, to watch it happen as it's happening, please like and subscribe. I'm going to change. And <laughs> I want you to see the change, okay? I gotta redeem myself after these before pictures, so yeah. <laughs> so I hope some of these tips actually helped you and that you're able to start your own weight loss journey if that's what your focus is, okay? Good luck. Let me know how you do, okay? Have a good one.